All right, one more thing. I want to talk about some shocking things from tonight's draft, okay? Let's do it. Um, so I wanted to talk about like tag teams or stables that are usually together that were now broken up and are on different shows because of the draft. So we have Enzo and Big Cass are together on Raw. However, the biggest surprise of the night for me is that Camilla was brought up and she's gonna be on SmackDown. So now Camilla and Big Cass are in a relationship in real life and now they are, are they are on opposite brands because of the draft. I don't know, I think that's huge. Wanted to bring that up. Um, the Wyatt family. We got Braun Strowman on his own, by himself on Raw. I'm thinking maybe Luke Harper when he gets better, maybe he'll join him on Raw, but for now, Braun Strowman is by himself on Raw. And we got Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan on SmackDown together. That stable has been broken up. Sin Cara and Kalisto are now on different shows. So we have Sin Cara on Raw, Kalisto on SmackDown, Lucha Dragons are split, and then the club has split up. We have Gallows and Anderson on Raw, AJ Styles on SmackDown, but hold up because the wild card is Finn Balor and he will be on Raw with Gallows and Anderson. So that's pretty big. And then another one for the couples getting split up with the brands. We have Paige on Monday Night Raw and we have Alberto Del Rio on Tuesday's SmackDown. All right, now let's talk about the tag teams that got to stay together. New Day is staying together and they'll be on Raw. Dudley Boys are staying together and they will be on Raw. The Shining Stars, Epico and Primo will stay together and they will be on Raw. And the Golden Truth will be together and stay on Raw. And then for SmackDown, brought up from NXT, we have the American Alphas, awesome, huge, they're together, they are on SmackDown. We have the Ascension, we have possibly, if they're, if they're gonna reunite, maybe be the Hype Bros, we got Ryder and Mojo, and we got the Void Villains, and that's me looking through quickly, I hope I didn't leave anybody out, but I did want to talk about it quickly, just to talk about the stables, the tag teams that have been separated because of the brand split, and then talking about the tag teams that are going to stay together through the brand split. So I think that is huge. If I'm missing any, or if you guys are thinking of any, definitely leave them down below. Let's talk about it. Huge news, huge brand split going on. And yeah, I'm excited for it. I, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm gonna tell you that. I'm definitely gonna tell you that. I'm very excited for it. But let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.